why do i always buy books and not read what it's about and then when i actually read the book i'm just like i don't like this why did i buy this um you should have read the summary first i've got a book haul today i need to stop i don't know why i keep doing this to myself i keep buying books i have no time to read and i have no space but it makes me happy so that's all that matters let's see what i got the first book is it starts with us i read this already this is a five star read for me and this is what we needed this brought me so much peace from it ends with us the atlas and lily story we've all been waiting for and this book is it's beautiful i loved it it's just like a little peace of mind if you weren't sure of getting this book if you were afraid of crazy plot twists or anything like that this is not the book this is not it this is just a very happy very happily ever after type of book and see you're gonna be happy with this book because i was and i kind of expected a lot more but i just feel like this is very un colleen hoover like but I felt peaceful after reading it and I think that's all that matters because these characters have been through a lot and this book really was needed Okay, next I got Forever Interrupted by Taylor Reed I saw a TikTok about this book and I was like, oh my gosh, that is so depressing, I have to have it A girl and a boy getting married and i think after like nine days of getting married he dies it was like love at first sight type of thing and they like rushed so quickly and then he he dies basically they had this like little love story going for weeks and nobody knew about it and so they got married and he dies i think she reaches out to her mother-in-law and they've never met and she the mother-in-law doesn't know she exists because they literally got married like weeks after meeting oh my god this sounds so good i know i'm gonna bawl my eyes out but i am i'm really excited to read this and it's taylor reed so we know it's gonna be devastating okay next i got king of wrath by anna hung and i have been Focus. I have been waiting for this book forever. This literally just came out and I am so excited to read this because I love the Twisted series by Anna and I just know I'm gonna love this. This is marriage convenience so I'm already like hooked. I can already tell it's gonna be a five star read for me. So basically they're two people who are forced to get married and they can't stand each other. I just know this is gonna be good. Okay, this next book has been all over my TikTok page for like days. It is Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. And how cute is this cover? This cover is so cute. I heard it was really good. Everyone like had great reviews about it, but then I, I saw a few people were just kind of like questioning it. Um, but it seems like a cute little fluffy romance and that's what I need right now. Figure skating, a figure skater and a hockey player. Is he a hockey player? Duh. Honestly, I don't even know what this book is about, but it looks like it is Grumpy X Sunshine and Enemies to Lovers type of vibe. Actually love the off-campus series. Um, it's like a hockey romance, so I'm kind of really excited to read this. And I heard it was kind of similar to The Deal, but I'm not... I'm not sure but it's kind of giving like those similar vibes okay next this book is like everywhere and everyone loves it and they hype this book up so much and i i need to know what the hype is about it's love on the brain by ali hazelwood she also wrote the love hypothesis and i love that book i feel like that book was so overhyped too but i i loved it because pumpkin spice and dr adam yeah, so I'm excited to read another one of her books and her covers are just so cute. They're so pretty. Please focus. Is this Rivals to Lovers? I just I just know that I'm gonna love it. If it's Rivals to Lovers, I just saw the word arch nemesis and I'm just like sold. Okay, next book. I bought Nanny for the Neighbors by Lily Gold and I saw this book on Amazon in their like romance section thingy and i thought this was like very very interesting it's reverse harem i don't think i've read that many reverse harem romance but this is about a girl she lives in the same apartment complex with three other guys i think she gets with all three of them 
I don't know. This book is pretty thick. So this is going to be interesting. I guess she's a nanny, but she's like she's like crushing on all three guys and i want to see who she's gonna pick at the end so this is gonna be interesting oh my god it seems very funny so i think that's why i bought it too and the cover is pretty so that's that's another reason um okay next <gasps> why is this so thin no i don't like how it's so thin um okay so my friend recommended accidentally amy by lynn painter love her i can already tell it's gonna be hilarious um this girl Izzy walks into Starbucks and she's waiting on her coffee and then someone calls for Amy no one's answering like who who's Amy and then Izzy the main the main character literally is just like I'm Amy she takes the pumpkin spice latte and she's heading out the door and she runs into this guy and then the guy was like see you tomorrow Amy and then she gets to work and the guy she bumps into at Starbucks is actually her new boss or her new teammate that seems very hilarious i'm actually excited to read this Ooh, it's meet cute plus grumpy x sunshine friends to lovers i love it i love that she wrote the tropes on the back like that is every author should do that okay next book is water under the bridge this was this is like the most popular book on book talk right now i'm literally this is like everywhere and it's not focusing i heard it's good i think this is it's another rivals to lovers workplace romantic comedy yes i'm winning right now with this book haul because i had no idea what these books were about okay this is rivals to lovers i'm getting the sense that they work together and he rejects her is he like the boss or something something like that this sounds pretty funny so i'm actually really excited to read this one and it's giving very rose and connor vibe here okay i got the last two books in the zodiac academy series why i haven't even finished the fifth book yet but this is the sixth and the seventh i guess i just felt like i wanted to own it all before they like sold out or whatever but look how thick this is this is a thousand page it's gonna take me a month to finish this because the series is like it's putting me in a slump right now and i hate it so i'm filming a reading vlog for this series but yeah i got book six and book seven and i just found out there's gonna be an eighth book and a ninth book and i am i'm so happy i am just that is like good news for me it's like really great news i'm gonna put these right here and the last book that I have here, it was actually sent to me in a PR book package. It is called Last of Talons by Sophie Kim. And this cover is so pretty. It's giving very Pocahontas, Mulan type of vibe here. I'm pretty sure this is a fantasy book. I always loved Entangled Teen fantasy books, to be honest. Okay, so that is all. This might be my last book haul of the year on this channel because... I need to stop buying books. I'm behind on my reading goals already and I need to start reading and stop buying books. That's all that I have for today. I'm super excited to read these new books that I got because I have been in such a bad reading slump. So hopefully one of these books can get me out of my slump. That's all. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to follow me on my social media listed down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!